Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and would you look at the time it's time to look at another mercenary game I swear my channel is slowly being converted into a mercenary game channel the game we'll be looking at today which is also today's gracious sponsor is crown wars the black prince now this is a historical game depicting the war between France and England and it has a little dash of alchemy a little dash of dark fantasy and it's a mix of a lot of games that I find cool and that I know my community enjoys like Darkest Dungeon, XCOM, War Tales and stuff like that. So the story is that you are like a noble or a lord or something and you've lost your castle, some of your men helped you escape and then a mysterious stranger has helped you find this abandoned castle right here that you are trying to rebuild with your loyal subjects and right now all the buildings are destroyed like a chapel, laboratory, stuff like that and the more you play the game the more you unlock these buildings. Right now we only have access to the great hall right here where we have an overview over this domain that we are managing and stuff like that and the barracks where your fighters or your mercenaries that you hire and stuff like that are so we're going into the barracks and we're gonna look at the cast the game has like a class system for the mercenaries that you hire so we've got alchemists these two right here we've got these beast masters and they've got yogi the bear with him we've got these crusaders you know i've customized these guys to look like this duelists and flares, which are like uh, archers that have area of effect abilities that shred armor or like burn or poison, stuff like that. And of course, all of these mercenaries are customizable in terms of appearance. And also they've got skills that you unlock once you level them up and they gain experience going out on missions. And you can also buy them weapons or upgrade them on the forge, stuff like that. You can spend like your gold that you get from missions and from collecting the tithe around the domain you in order to spend them on upgrades and buying new mercenaries because your mercenaries can die apart from that we're gonna look at the great hall this is where we manage our domain you can see the mercenaries who have died here upgrading the great hall increases the amount of squads that you can send out on missions because you can send out multiple squads on multiple missions at the same time so yeah that's all we can look at right now so without further ado let's jump into the map and check out the campaign there we go we are in france right now this is our domain right here Mont Verac and missions start like popping up in the form of like this sword on the map and right now we only have one objective which is the sack of Saint Martin the mysterious Nicholas has asked you to meet him on the outskirts of Paris while the English army is ravaging the area he promises to reveal what's really going on so Nicholas is the guy that told you about this abandoned castle that you now use as your headquarters there's a village getting sacked and he wants us to meet him there for some reason so let's choose the companions that we're gonna send I'm pretty Pretty sure the second mission is the hardest one so I'm not gonna send my A team just yet let's send this guy we'll send you we'll send this crusader and we'll send a beast master with you why not your companions take time to get to missions so as you can see squad will arrive in four days so we're gonna pass time until they're there it says 2j next to it because day in French is jour deux jours and 26 jours all right we're there we're gonna start the battle there's the meeting point our boys have spawned here there's a dying soldier over there let's Let's go check him out. King Edward ordered us to destroy everything, but the voices are whispering in our heads. My men have gone mad. The voices, they won't stop calling out. Ah! I didn't even ask, bro. I didn't even interrogate him and he told me everything. <laughs> So the gameplay is similar to XCOM or War Tales. There's a grid system. You move, there's cover. It's turn-based. What the dog doing? Ooh, I would love to get someone up on that ballista. We'll get the archer on there. Get you over there. Get that dog into some cover. All right, and turn. As soon as I walk into those red squares, they're gonna know. There's four enemies that I can see. I'll get my boys a bit closer, just so we can like optimize our moves. Now let's start sending in the tanks and With locking me. these guys down. We've been spotted. <laughs> Bro, stop, he's already dead. <laughs> Bro, stop. <laughs> Each class has their own skills, but your weapon also dictates your basic like attack moves. So you gotta pick carefully what you spec into and also your weapon of choice. Now the woman get her up there, please. Oh, this inflicts bleeding? I'll do bleeding. This guy seems like a boss, so let's do that instead. Oh yeah, that is some damage right there, bro. Get the duelist out there. He is really calm for someone who's like about to fight for his life screw him up i'll be quick to finish 
I was trained for that. All right, let's gang up on this guy. Die. Boom. No mercy. I'll keep my special moves for the boss character. Out of my way. Oof. All right, solid damage. Send the dog at him. <laughs> Oof. He went straight for the nuts, bro. Oh, she can still do something here. All right, finish him off. Hell yeah, that guy did not act. Nice. Man didn't get to do anything, bro. Nice! What? How did he still take damage if he dodged? Alright, now we're gonna focus the boss. Stacking another bleed is harder. It's only a 50% chance. Just do this then. Okay, I think we can finish him off. Out of my way. Oh, come on, bro. God damn it. Okay, I want to style on him with the sword guy. So I'm gonna try to weaken him up a bit with the douge. He's almost dead. Let's just guarantee it. Okay, and now, Mr. Sword Guy, if you miss, it's on you, man. Let's uh, lock down the archer. For Beastmasters, you should also always like keep them next to their pet because... Yeah, there it is. Teamwork. You fight alongside a beast if you attack a unit that has already been hit by your beast, or vice versa, the attack gains a bonus to power. So, I'm a fool. I should have concentrated both of them on the same target. Just do a standard Don't attack. Oh, she rolled exactly what we needed. All right, get her down. My guy, you've got two people who are about to kill you and you target her instead. Bruh, get the nuts. Don't expect mercy. I'll be quick to finish. There we go. That's the cinematic. Oh my god. He just bonked him. Let's make our way to the gate. Yo. The stand user could be anyone. Meanwhile, the stand user. <laughs> they don't have any archers, so they have to come to us. Let's set up like sort of an ambush kind of thing. Yeah, you can overwatch with melee characters. What's wrong with that? Alright, let's see what they do about this. Bro? It took my guy a while to realize that he was dead. He could not believe how much of a genius tactician I am. I think if we just can kill this guy, I'm pretty sure we just like by default win. May not sure though. Be Heathen. Heathen. All right, based. Let's do this. We're gonna get them into a kill zone right here. You watch my back, I watch yours. Get the douge in there. So <laughs> he oh my God, he dodged it. What? Okay, they're focusing the tank. I was gonna start complaining, but at least they're focusing the tank guy. That's what he's made for. And they just lined themselves up for him perfectly here, so he can attack all three of them. First of all, let me out take of off way. one point of armor from this guy. Boom. He's weakened, and he lost one point of armor. And then we slash all three. Boom. We'll stack a couple of bleeds and some poison on this guy. Nice, he's bleeding. And then we stack him with poison. And very nice, they're all stacked. We get the dog who gets extra power on his attacks now because his beast master has already attacked the guy. Boom. And a boom. Very nice. Finish that person off if you can. Oh my god. If at first you don't succeed, you fail again. <laughs> Yikes, okay, we're getting hit hard, man. Bro. Bro! Out of my way. Do it to him. And again. Don't expect mercy. Let's see if the Beastmaster triggers his cinematic. Yes! Ooh! Ooh! Nice, okay, we got the insta win when we got that guy. We'll roleplay that the other guy was afraid and he ran away. Many historians have recounted this war between France and England, but not all facts have been told. Poitiers, 1356. After fighting to complete exhaustion, the King of France, John II, is defeated. The King of England's son, the Black Prince, takes him as a prisoner. For more than 20 years, the royal houses had been fighting for the crown of the most powerful kingdom in the Occidental world. It was a war of chivalry, kings and princes. A war between families, rival houses, and cousins. A war fought according to the conventions of feudalism. But with neither side willing to kneel to the other, the war became a costly endeavor, attracting the most bloodthirsty of mercenaries. And in the shadows, there were those who resorted to unspeakable methods exploring mystical powers involving the occult. In the midst of this turmoil, with chaos reigning all round, a group of compassionate men and women gathered in secret to fight an insidious threat more horrifying than the war itself. 
Bro really said some people are using unspeakable methods and then showed the guy who was using science. <laughs> Bro was probably just invented bleach and the guy said he's using unspeakable methods. Burn that heretic. All right, we can upgrade our weapons now. The renovations of your forge are finished. Upgrading your weapons is crucial for the battles to come. Click on the forge to see the list of upgrades. Okay, the forge has been built. There it is, level one. All right, I'm going to send the halberd guy. So let's get that. We also use the sword a lot, so let's upgrade that. Give me an upgraded crossbow. They're very useful. Upgrade the axe. Boom. And I think that's that. There's another mission, Black Monday, but I'll pass four days. There you go. Blacksmiths are finished. And now the squad should have stronger weapons. Oh yeah, these guys are back and they leveled up. So we can either go like this tree or this tree. You can mix and match. Now, let me see if the halberd has been upgraded. Sure has. It's six to nine damage now, which is great. All the other upgrades have been given automatically, which is perfect. And now let's go and do that mission. Let's send in that guy. Send in that guy. We'll send in the bear guy. I'm gonna send the crossbow guy because he had his weapon upgraded. Squad looking great. Just give me some poison and give me blazing arrows or bolts. You take some armor with you. Yeah, I'll do a sword and a dagger on this guy. All right, send companions. Explore the tunnels. Okay, we need to get through that door. I won't fail you. Bro's an absolute tank. Even his voice tells you that he's tanky. Yeah, we brought a goddamn bear into these tunnels. So what? <laughs> oh my God, bro, just casually walks on two feet. All right, how do we do this here? I say this guy just rushes that man. Oh, he tried to run away. Thank you for the free damage. Now this guy will take on that archer. Boom. Can the bear help this guy out? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Dude, his movement is so cute. Not gonna lie. You know what? Let's just focus this guy. Make sure he dies. And you hold down this archer. Are you serious? Thank you very much. They're doing the blood magic. Yeah, of course. Oh, let's go. <laughs> he missed his chance to do some damage. Very nice. That guy, that's actually pretty sick what he did. He's like standing on top of the table like, kill me if you can. Mr. Bear, hold this guy down. Get him. Oh my god, that execution was ice cold, man. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Damn, we're getting blessed with this RNG, man. We're gonna move the duelist so he's on the same level. So there's a chance he'll trigger his cutscene as well. No, come on, man. Yes. Oof. There goes that guy's spine. Wait, we'll do this. Heathen. Get our armor back. Very nice. May justice be served. Let's go! Idiot triggered an attack of opportunity. All right, door is open now. Oh. Bro, that guy's eyes are glowing. How do you know that his name is Cupcake? We have visitors who are a little too curious. Attack! Dinner is served. Okay, how do we approach this? Five doggies. I say we stick together and get them to come to us. We'll focus this part that is weak. Wait, 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 wait. If I do one attack from the bear, the Beastmaster's attack is gonna buff him as well, but then the second bear attack is also gonna be buffed. If it works that way, that's huge. Die. Like, we alternate the attacks so that they're both getting- Oh my god! It does work that way! Okay, I should have paired these guys up from the beginning. I'm an idiot. Nice. Yield. Very nice. We'll get the With tank me. over here. So he watches her back. This guy too. Understood. How many AP does he have? What the hell? Holy dude, that guy traveled, bro. All right, let's do the same combo again. He attacks once, bear attacks once, Beastmaster attacks once again. Beautiful. Let him occupy two cells so he's closer to the guy. 
And we get some extra damage. All right. Come on, boys. You gotta admit, that was pretty smart. I didn't want to use one AP to get closer, so I just made him go on all fours. All right, man. I'm gonna need you to finish these guys off. That guy first. Boom. There goes red eyes. Boom. Now we just need to kill that one. And we're set. Run. We're gonna take some more damage, but it doesn't matter. As long as this guy tanks it. Okay, why well, did I think that it would happen that way? Why would it happen the way I want it to? <laughs> right, let's finish him off. Alright. Hey, that's cheating! He's got two bears! <laughs> we only have one! Let's focus one of the bears down, so we can finish him off fast. That way we remove one damage source out of the pool of damage sources. That's if we can kill him in one go. What the hell? He's occupying two spots. He won't let me stand there. No. I just got outplayed by a bear, dude. The bear just made me use all my AP like an idiot, dude. Oh my god, I almost killed him. I did. God damn it. Sorry, Beastmaster. Of course, the bear targets like the weakest person. All right. There goes all our HP. God damn. Let's go. Bear on bear action. Get the Beastmaster there so we can stack up the damages. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can he finish him off? Please. Oh, he's one damage off, man. Gonna have to waste an action on him from the crossbow woman. Now we focus this fucker. The upgraded weapons are doing work, man. Great. Okay, the door opened. Yo. I don't like where we're going. They started their ritual. They're trying to activate the stone to destroy Paris. You must stop them. Intruders! Kill them all! Oh yeah, I remember when this happened in real life. <laughs> Okay, there's Archer there, Archer there, two tanks, and that guy, the cultist. Hmm, how do we approach this? You know what? We end our turn. Let them come to us. Maybe that wasn't very smart. May oh, wait, okay, hold on, hold on. That, maybe that wasn't very smart, boys. Yikes. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Why don't I get to play with the dark magic stuff? No, the tank's down. Oh, yikes. This just got really hard. Oh, my God, dude. We can still come back from this, okay? Very Focus well. one guy. Distribute the damage between these two. Of course he dodged it. We're gonna need all the damage we can get. No mercy. Oh, my God. Stop missing. Okay, that's it. We're resorting to our version of dark magic, which is just straight up science. He resisted burning. This is going terrible. Okay, poison cloud. Yeah, Mr. White, science! Is he gonna bleed, like, enough for him to die? I'm gonna count on it and go start working on the other guy. No, man, I forgot about- Oh, fuck's sake, I forgot about the attack of opportunity. I'll be quick to finish. Ooh, beautiful critical hit. Oh, nice, he died, he died. Yeah, heal him, of course. Feel free. And he's full health now. Of course! <laughs> Nah, man. Nah, dude. Okay, you have this. You throw foul-smelling concoction that has a chance to inflict weakened on any units with an area of effect. Is there any way I can get those two? Yeah, if I do that. Worth a shot. Now I need to heal someone. Heal the bear. Because we need them to do damage. Now you two start dealing some fucking damage. Die. Oh, beautiful. All right, he's gonna die to poison. You're gonna stand right here behind cover. And you're gonna get to work on this guy. I'll be quick to finish. Oh my god, dude! Why? Why do they always fumble it when I need it the most? There goes that guy. Yikes, man. The bear's dead. Bear's dead. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> There he goes! He died on top of our tank! Dude, if the tank wasn't dead before, he's dead now. How heavy is an average bear? Because I need to know how much that guy just tanked in terms of weight. 
Alright, please, please, please. I need some kills. Boom, take that. Boom. Right, let's take cover. Is there still an archer over here? Yeah, there he is. You better like roll roll some Oh my oh, dude! A 95% chance! Alright, you're gonna die because of that now, man. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. You're gonna die. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Fucking yikes, man. Let's do that. That archer is gonna kill us, isn't he? That archer is gonna wipe the floor with us, man. Overwatch over here. That archer is gonna kill us. It's Jover! Okay, okay, there's a chance. On my way. Okay. That was Poisoned. Understood. Come on. You just need to land one shot. Oh! <laughs> okay, we, we we have another chance. We have another chance. This might hurt. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I brought five people and only two survived with like three HP. I'll tell you everything, but Ooh. not here. This ritual was meant to destroy Paris, but interrupting it will have consequences. Let's take the stone and flee. Man, fuck that. Oh my god, that mission was hard as hell. Good thing it pays really well, because I'll need the money to replace those mercenaries. And yeah, we've arrived at the end of the demo right there. Not gonna lie, the game is very, very promising, especially if they intend to like expand into some other classes or something like that. Throwing some random events and, you know, just some randomness to throw every campaign off and like make campaigns distinguished from each other. That will make for like a very, very fun time. Chaos is always fun. I like that they implemented different mechanics from a lot of games that I like into one. So yeah, that was Crown Wars, very promising game. If you guys enjoyed what you've seen in this video, make sure you wishlist the game. I'm pretty sure it's going to be available pretty soon. So yeah, don't forget to check it out. Thank you Crown Wars for sponsoring this video. Lots of content coming very soon, guys. So stay tuned. We're also going to be streaming a lot more consistently on both YouTube and Twitch very soon. I've worked on some badges and some emojis and stuff like that for us to have a great time with can't wait to share that with you guys stay on the lookout and as always hope you guys enjoyed the video much love and bye bye